Hi loves, Jay here with your March to April tarot predictions for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you have Gem Gemini anywhere in your chart, cross watchers are also welcome. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you are old or new here, welcome back and welcome to the community. Be sure to stick around to the end so you don't miss your final outcome. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, all of my info is in the description box below. I'll be channeling spirit messages throughout this reading, so let's tap into your collective spirit insights which are letting me know, Gemini, something big and memorable is about to occur in your life. Spirit is saying to be patient during this process. It's going to help you grow in a way that you never knew you were that you never knew was possible. And in bold with emphasis, Spirit is saying stick to it. Okay, so whatever that is, stick to it. And I was also guided to pull one of these calming inspiration cards for you. So we'll pull one of these for you. And this one is life is a string of stars. Life is not tomorrow. It is not yesterday. It is now. And it is your power to choose what you will do with this glorious string of, of stars that are the moments of your life shine okay love that message so beautiful for you we're going to get your tarot cards out gemini and then we're going to clarify each of those as well all right so let's see what's coming up for you messages for gemini please we're going to go through um start with your most recent energy here that you're most recently just experiencing and you guys know um, if you don't know, now you know I am not a fan of staying in the past, so we will not be in that energy for too long, okay? So we have the Eight of Swords here, we have the Six of Pentacles, we have the Five of Pentacles, we have the Temperance, the Hangman's coming out, the Chariot, the Nine of Wands, and then we have the Knight of Wands, okay? So... We have three major arcanas here with the temperance, the chariot, and the hangman. So let's let's see what's coming up here in your energy and your most recent energy. As I said initially, we have the nine of I'm sorry, the eight of swords. So some of you have been uh, feeling trapped in your mind about something, can't make a decision, feeling um, encaged, feel like there's a lot of things going on, lots of stress, lots lots of energy around you could be distractions as well feel like you're being pulled in different directions and not able to see clearly in some way or you were in this energy as i should say but there's a lot that is crossing your path here gemini so we have the princess of swords also your energy this is double confirmation is your energy with the eight of swords and the princess of swords but now moving to the princess of swords i do feel like you you had you came out of something where you're now in this place of you know starting new starting fresh in in something okay so maybe your mind is clearing you're becoming more insightful new ideas are coming up you feel a little bit more mental clarity mental agility that is coming up for you I do feel like some of you have been researching, reading, you have been in this position of looking for seeking answers and also being able to receive those answers. So whatever this is, I do feel like you moved out of feeling trapped in a situation or just trapped in your mind about things. And there's an energy of you moving to um, a, a clearer, freer mindset is what I'm hearing. OK, because it does feel like there was a lot going on around you, like I said, distractions or things that you have been holding on to. And now it's time for you to um, or you found an, an outlet or a way to communicate, to relieve yourself of whatever you had been experiencing, whatever you had been distracted on distracted with I definitely feel like I'm looking like antennas coming up like an aha moment for some of you as well where you're just kind of like oh I need to move on from this because it's 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 bogging me down I feel um I'm hearing um not selected okay so I'm not sure what that is not sure if you just went through a, a moment of rejection and you feel like you weren't selected and it, it could have been a little bit of heartbreak that came up or a heartache that came up for you and you had to move past a situation okay so I'll leave that at that your overall energy during this time frame we have the six 
of Pentacles that is coming out for you. It's a little bright. Uh, uh, the Six of Pentacles. This makes me feel like you're taking care of yourself. You're taking care of your environment. Okay, I'm feeling um, you focused on your health, focused on your appearance. And I do feel like what you're putting out, Gemini, you're getting that energy back. So as you're beginning to take care of yourself and your health, it's like the universe is opening up to you to bring more opportunities to care for yourself, bring more love into your life. Whatever that, whatever that is for you, I do feel like someone's caring for you. You could be caring for someone, but it is reciprocated is what I'm feeling. So let me pull some cards around that. Also, the number six, too, is I'm, I'm feeling a num I'm feeling an energy of being honest. So there's honesty that is going on in your relationship or your relationships in general. And I do feel like I'm feeling a, like a great energy of support is what's coming up for you during this time frame. We have the princess of wands that's coming up. So now we have another princess. We just went from the swords to the wands. So I feel like the support brings on this energy of intensity where you want to try more things. Okay, so there's something that you may be exploring during this time frame that you're excited about, that you're passionate about, and you're willing to you're willing to go the distance. You're willing to, willing to go the, the distance no matter what it takes. That I feel like you are focused on accomplishing or reaching a goal or seeking to attain what you really have your eye on. Okay, so what is your targeted intention is what I'm feeling. The Eight of Swords, look, look, she's trying to come back out again. Okay, the Eight of Swords, this makes me feel, it brings me back to the energy of you feeling rejected or neglected in some sort of way and those those feelings begin to linger once again during this time because it feels like it's a time for you, Gemini, where things begin to look up for you, but then you're still pulled back in some way. You're pulled back by distractions or you're pulled back by the things that you're thinking about, okay? It feels like a, a, a mindset of scarcity that you are limited in your love, in your capacity, in some sort of way, your love capacity, emotional capacity. But I do feel like this is all self-talk is what I'm feeling. I'm hearing, uh, I'm hearing that, you know, things have been hard, but I do feel like things are go going to begin to change. Look at that four of wands celebration. So the wands energy here uh, surrounding you here in this eight of swords there's a lot of things that are still going on. Like, you know, life happens and sometimes you are just stuck in your head about things and you're overthinking and things are definitely changing. So if you are feeling stuck and stagnant in this position or in your life and or in, in some aspect of your life right now, just know that you're trying to come out of that, that there is momentum that can be created. You just have to get out of your own way. That Four of Wands is saying there is a celebration that's coming up for you. There's a connection that is coming up for you. There's a coming together with something. Things are coming together. You are coming together with someone. You are growing a foundation with someone. There is a lot of love and compassion and passion there because we have wands energy here. But I do, I do feel like a melding of two lives together. I'm hearing from the Eight of Swords. She's like, well, I don't deserve this or this is out of my league. Whatever this is, no, this is meant for you. If it is the universe is opening you up to this, Gemini, this is yours for the taking here with this four of wands okay so this is about you creating a happy life and a foundation and your manifestation of dreams they are coming true to fruition okay and the spirit is saying you can take you can take a risk i'm even hearing take a risk and take a risk on yourself and believe that you are worthy of whatever this is but there is a, a beautiful back and forth that is happening between you and something or you and someone. But make sure that you're not in this place of holding back and feeling trapped. Don't let the past, that baggage that you're bringing in, don't let that stop you from creating the momentum for moving forward uh, with, it, with this person or whatever this is that you're moving forward with because you can create something grand and beautiful. So that's the overall energy for you. An obstacle or challenge that may come up for you during this time is the Five of Pentacles. So this is what I mean. Watching your health, too, this Five of Pentacles, remembering, you know, 
I did say some of you are on the verge or you have already been in this energy of taking care of yourself, mind, body, and spirit. This is something that you have to uh, continue with. So don't let the things distract you and deter you from taking care of yourself because that in turn can create some sort of health issues, heartache, things going on in your hands, or if you're a guy, prostate issues. I'm feeling that energy, but I'm definitely feeling more on in the heart space. So making sure that you are eating healthy foods, drinking plenty of water, getting some exercise, whether you are walking, riding a bike, do high intensity training, it doesn't matter. Find something to stay active and motivated in so that you don't become stuck and stagnant again. Okay. So let's pull some clarifiers around that. So so, you know, health may be an issue that or an obstacle that may come up for you. We have the seven of swords, your energy here. So this makes me feel like you guys need to or are, are having a hard time planning out taking care of yourself. So I feel like this needs to be a priority for you. And some of you, there's so many other things going on again that those distractions are coming up. So many things that are coming up that are that's taking that's pulling energy away from you and focusing on yourself that you need to definitely find time to plan out um, and always making sure that you're incorporating some sort of exercise regimen to keep your your health in tip top shape. OK, so let me pull some other cards around this. We have the three of wands showing up and the five of pentacles. So double confirmation. We have two five of pentacles here. So remember, like I said, this could be, you know, revolved around health. This could even be money for you as well, like loss. So being very strategic in how you're planning things out, not not spending, especially for those of you who are in this position, this overall position of building something with someone, making sure that you're not putting yourself out by trying to splurge on someone and trying to live outside of your means to prove a point in some way. Um, and because you're so excited that this person may be out of your league or whatever the case may be that you want to go above and beyond, make sure that you're not putting yourself out. And that is financially and health wise. Okay. So the three of wands here is saying that there may be something that could be developing for you. Um, there could be something that that's coming up that you may feel a sense of loss or you're, or you feel like you're losing something. You could even feel like you are losing pieces of yourself. This is why remembering to always revert that energy and attention back to your health, your money, making sure, again, mind, body, and spirit that you are in alignment, that you are grounded, because it does feel like things can come in, things can fall apart, and I feel like you are, you know, you're in this position, well, that will put you for sure back in that position of feeling trapped and feeling like you're lost. Um, so keep that in mind, that challenge when it comes up Remember to revert the energy and the attention back to you, taking care of yourself, mind, body, and spirit as you go through these challenges. Where you're headed this month is the um, the temperance card, and this is about art. So this is art reminds me of expression and creating. Okay, so I do feel like again, I don't. I keep feeling health issues because I'm looking at the temperance, and I don't know if you guys could see on this card uh, the temperance here. There is, well, there is, you can barely see, but there is a triangle on the heart there. So it, there's emphasis on the heart chakra this month. So, you know, really, really pay attention to heartache, heart problems, indigestion, whatever this is. But make sure that you're creating a life of health, of, of whole being, of well-being. Okay, I'm going to pull some cards around this, see what's coming up for you. Messages for Gemini. Where's Gemini headed? This one wanted to fly out. So I'll take that, the judgment. The five of wands and the ace of cups. So we have another number five. So now we have three number fives. So it makes me feel like there's a lot of intensity around whatever this challenge may be or whatever this health issue or whatever's going on in the heart space, okay? There's some intensity going on, and that can just be passion, lust, um, connection, or this, you know, could be a, a physical thing for you. So where you're headed is, um, 
I'm still I'm I'm hearing a rekindling a flame or rekindling something with someone from the past. I definitely feel like you have some a connection or history with with a person, and I feel like you may be revisiting things. You may be revisiting, um, reestablishing your relationship, but it does feel like there is conflict there, or there was conflict involved in whatever this is but I feel like you're trying to create something new like it's almost like you have turned a page and maybe the two of you spent some time apart and got to know yourselves and now coming back together and recreating a new love with the ace of cups here because I do feel like that you're fulfilled and there's a there's a beautiful love that is beginning to blossom with you and someone and keep this in mind this is general so Take it how it resonates for you, whatever area of your life. That could be in career and finances, or this could be in a relationship, but I'm feeling a relationship, but it can show up in any way for you because it is general. But I definitely feel like there was some conflict between you and someone. There was an intensity there, um, and maybe there was an intensity of passion and and um, can, passion or conflict in some sort of way that maybe you're needing to work through that's coming up for you and like I said to grow a different love I definitely feel like there are a lot of things as you begin to develop and create a new love a lot of the other things begin to fall away it's almost like the water washes away the fire okay the the intention um, not the intention the, the tension that was between the two of you okay and maybe some of you are battling um battling yourselves battling your emotions battling other people about whoever this person was and now i feel like you have a clearer mind where you can pour into something that feels authentic to who you are so that is where you're headed is creating something new with someone from the past again someone you may be like i said reconciling rekindling something calling someone to say like hey you know, I know things, you know, went off, went left, but I'm really, I'm willing to work through whatever issues that we may have to create an, a new love. And I, I want to begin a new relationship with you. So that's what I'm feeling where you're headed. What's coming towards you um, during this time is the hangman. All right. So this, again, it makes me feel like some of you are in this position where, where you may be feeling stuck. Your fears may be coming up and I'm feeling an energy of um, that that mentality of feeling like you're not enough okay the not enoughness coming up but you're trying to pour into something in a way that is that drains you okay but this is an opportunity to step back and to surrender to whatever this is and to allow it to unfold organically is what spirit is saying okay so you don't have to feel stuck you don't have to force anything this is a time to just be let's pull some clarifiers why is the hangman here we have the three of swords okay so uh, your energy king of swords as well your energy and then the world okay so with that what's coming towards you this could be a person remember I said that you may be rekindling a flame or reuniting with um, you know hashing things out I definitely feel like <sighs> What's coming towards you could be heartbreak, so that makes me feel like it may not work out. It may be a temporary situation with you. And for some of you, maybe you're not even trying to um, create a full-blown intimate relationship with this person. You're just reconnecting so that you can discuss things and it's closure for you that so you can move on. Like you're just in this place of forgiving one another so you can move on from the heartbreak okay because I do feel like this made you a better person a better man a better woman whatever this is as I'm looking at the king of swords in the center here that you you had to be fair in the situation and hear out hear this person out whatever it is that they were experiencing I feel like you opened your heart here Gemini to say you know what I'm going to hear you out I'm going to allow you to have your closure I'll have my closure as well but I know what's best for me so I feel like whatever this was it gave you some mental clarity to move on even your person as well okay so I do feel like the truth was spoken and I do feel like there may be a temporary moment where you thought Maybe this can be rekindled. Maybe we can, you know, recreate a new life together. But then I feel like the hurt 
comes up again and I feel like there's some sort of change. So there could be a change of heart. There could be a change in a heart where you say, yes, I forgive you, let's work through it. Or yes, I forgive you, now we can just fully move on. Okay, because I definitely feel with the world that your life changes in some sort of way. Like you feel like I'm, I'm done, I've completed this, and now I can move on, walk forward. It definitely feels like a new beginning and you, I feel like you, you feel accomplished in some way. Or maybe you're working through your differences and you're integrating your lives together in some sort of way. Regardless of that, the Three of Swords is saying like there is, um, I'm hearing this, I'm hearing conflict only because we've had so many fives come up. But I do feel like a lot of emotions that are coming up around heart. Again, this is centered around the heart. Like I said, there's something going on in the heart chakra for you this month. So it may be heartbreaking for you or it may just be things from the past that are resurfacing emotions or thoughts that are putting you in the place of feeling turbulent. It may even send some of you into a little bit of a depression. Um, but I do feel like you have to get back up, get on your throne, sit on your throne like this king of swords here and really own your power, know your worth, know that you are worthy, that you are enough. And then that's when life really begins to unfold for you. I feel like it leaves opportunity for other things and people um, to come into your life. So uh, whatever this is that you are working through, I definitely feel like you're going to be moving on from it. We have the chariot, which is happening in your very near future. So definitely moving on from something and feeling empowered, um, which I love that energy of you coming out of sadness and you coming out of that eight of swords energy of feeling trapped that you're able to move on from things. Yes, the fool is coming out. Let's see what else is coming up for you. We have the eight of wands coming up and the ten of cups. Love this. So what's happening and transpiring in your very near future is definitely a shift. You move from that world energy, you moving on from something, forgiving yourself, forgiving the person, completing that cycle and moving on to something where you feel empowered and and blessed and, and, and feel like you're in success here amidst the emotions that you may feel. It doesn't necessarily mean that the closure is going to bring you the complete closure that you need. What I'm saying, let me not, let me retract that. What I mean is you can forgive, but you won't forget. So there may be still a lingering emotions, but I feel like you're able to say like, hey, we've worked through it. Now we can move on from it. So because the fool is here, you're definitely moving on from something. Double confirmation with the world and the fool here, both major arcanas, that there is a, a, a brand new beginning that is coming up for you here, Gemini. Remember, your, your spirit inside at the beginning is something big and memorable is about to occur in your life. Be patient during this process because it's going to help you. It's going to help you grow in ways that you never knew was possible. So stick to the journey. Stick to the journey here. This is letting me know to trust. I do feel like you're going to be finding your peace and your happiness. You're going to begin to feel optimistic about life as well. As I'm looking at this fool energy, I feel like you're going to be leaving all the foolery, <laughs> all of the foolery behind you. And you're really just stepping out on the limb and trusting that, trusting the process and st trusting that the universe is ordering your steps. Okay, yes. Some of you may decide to travel. You may meet someone overseas. You may meet someone domestically. You may be... Talk, chatting with someone via um, online, whatever this is, Ten of Cups is here. Your focus is on love and building a foundation, building a happy, your happily ever after. You're you're envisioning that because I feel like some of you have vision boards that you have created something, and now I feel like you thought that whoever that person was that you had. Um, needed the closure from initially you thought that they were that person and then found out nah that's not they're not the one and I, and I feel like whatever you ex experience was a learning lesson and now it is taking you to this new level of really opening up yourself to receive that soulmate energy that some of you have been seeking so that love that you've been seeking you're definitely opening yourself up to that Okay, that Ten of Cups is all about fulfillment. So this is new beginnings all across the board. It definitely feels like things are going to change. It makes me feel like you need closure from something here, Gemini, so that you can move forward. And when you get that closure, things are going to begin to, the momentum is going to be so strong, so powerful, so fast. Okay, so be prepared for that. 
but some of you are also just needing to take a break from it all and travel, do your thing, have a good time, let your hair down, okay, because you've been working at something very, very diligently and you there has been pain and there has been feelings of, you know, feeling trapped and, you know, encompassed. I'm, I'm hearing that encompassed. So this is time for you to get out. This is time for you to get out and create and, and grow. Yeah, I'm I'm tra I'm hearing travel. I'm seeing travel, and I'm also um, I'm also seeing maybe even a relocation, maybe re um, moving your family, moving your family um, somewhere else where life seems a little bit easier. You know, and sometimes that's outside of the U.S. <laughs> no, it, there's going to be challenges everywhere. But you know, I feel you know we we all have our opinions about what where the United States is going right now, but. I definitely feel like you want, you want to be in a place where it feels free. Some of you don't even want people around you, like neighbors. Like you want to have property, you want to have land. That's what I feel like you want to create in that way. So I definitely feel like some of you may be on a journey to um, exploring different places where you can move and up, uproot yourself, uproot your family for a better life. Because right now you are all about a better life in this moment. Okay, so that's what is happening in your very near future is some big changes that are coming up for you. Your advice is, <clears throat> excuse me, the nine of wands. And this is that I feel like you move from that eight of swords to this nine of wands energy where you're feeling courageous. You're feeling like you're feeling resistant, um, um, resilient. You feeling like you could persevere through anything. You, you have this sense of strength that is coming through for you. I do feel like this is um, I'm feeling a message as I'm looking at this card, a message coming in. And I feel like part of the message was from the past, was someone from the past bringing you a message to help you move on. This could also be a new message that's coming up for you because it definitely feels like because it's the number nine, it was something that was said to you that ended something so that you can move on from something else. Okay, so fortitude is coming up. That success, I mean, this is, this is definitely um, a reading of feeling like it's success and moving forward, but it's your energy that sort of gets in the way, that energy of worry and your health and all of that thing, all of those things. The chariot, look, the chariot is coming back out. It's coming out again. Spirit is saying, move on. Move on from something. Take action. So some of you have been thinking about making a change, relocating, traveling, starting a new relationship getting closure, forgiving someone, this is the time to do it. This is the time to do it, Gemini. We have the Queen of Pentacles here, and we also have the Four of Swords, okay? So definitely time to move on. See some of you traveling by water, or some of you are needing to get, some of you are needing to get by water to do some clearing, but I'm feeling Clearing, clearing emotions and also getting grounded as well. I, again, I feel like you get, you're packing up some of your baggage and you're getting the hell out. <laughs> but it definitely feels like it is meant to be whatever this is that it's time for you to go. And, the, you know, the chariot is the number, um, is the number seven. This energy is all about connection. Okay, so I feel like you're connecting to yourself. You're connecting to someone. You're building confidence and you're moving past something. Work on your solar plexus as well. Your solar plexus is three inches above your navel. So it's right in between your um, rib cage and your navel. So working on that. So this could be, you know, wearing yellow, bringing yellow foods into your life, um, really focusing on opening up that chakra so that you can um, build creativity confidence, esteem. Also, that is connected to your money as well, how that flows. So the solar plexus is, is good for you during this month as well. The queen of pentacles here, you're definitely growing something. You're definitely growing something. So you could be growing your family, like I said, moving somewhere else and building a new home. Whatever this is, this queen of pentacles is giving me life. I feel like there's a lot of um, being in gratitude for all the beauty that's around you. Being in gratitude for the growth that you had experienced, even though there was sadness and heartbreak that was involved in this. But I definitely feel like this beautiful, abundant energy where things are beginning to balance. 
balance itself and weigh itself out. And I just, I do feel like there's a lot of growth involved here, Gemini. Okay, and some of you are needing to take, uh, take some time out to be in gratitude. That's what I feel. That is your, that is your advice. Take some time out to be in gratitude for all of the things that you've grown and you've built in your life, the things that you've moved on from, the lessons that you've learned. Gratitude is huge for you this month. That sounds like an easy task to do. It really does. And I think it's just a reminder for you because there has been so many distractions going on in your life that some of you have felt lost since you have been knocked off your rocker. And so this is just a reminder to say like, hey, you have a beautiful life already. So let's let's be in gratitude for that so that you can bring more of that into your life. Your final outcome is the Knight of Wands here. This makes me feel like you are, um, this could be someone coming into your life. You could be embodying this energy as well. But it's it's very intense. I feel like this new spark that sort of comes in for you and creates a, a new momentum. I'm also hearing creates some clarity for you as well. I feel like you feel very passionate about whatever this is, a project, a relationship. You feel very passionate about your family. Whatever this is. It feels like a new energy because it feels like some of you had lost yourself in the distractions in the mind, um, the the mind the mind chatter. That now you're back to a you're back to an energy of really taking care of yourself and feeling vibrant and happy and knowing that life is an adventure and that um, you have lots of passions and desires and you could feel feel uh, fearless that you you are you're a thrill seeker so you want to get out and create and you know sometimes be a mischievous person you know that's what the knight of wands is about okay so we have the seven of wands because it you know you have felt challenged in in many ways many aspects of yourself where you feel like you had to fight through a lot of things but i i do feel like you know things are changing it feels like you're you're developing a new perspective of life you're really tuning into your consciousness and understanding your truth and, and brings me back to a, the sun energy i'm feeling the sun energy of that optimism and joy where you're really tuning into your inner self your inner child and asking it asking him or her what do you want what is going to make you thrive what's going to make you happy okay so the alchemist look at that the alchemist i'm gonna pull some energy from that the Ace of Wands was here in reverse. Okay. But I don't really want to take that in reverse. <laughs> I'm going to take it upright because I feel such a positive energy coming from this final outcome of you having this spark of creativity and this expansiveness that is coming up for you. So you are you are creating you're creating something grand. Remember, you're creating something big in your life that is going to change the trajectory of your life in some sort of way. And I feel like you've already been pouring into that energy with the alchemist here. The alchemist is the um, magician in the traditional tarot. This is saying like you're working on self-improvement, self-empowerment. You're manifesting things. You're resourceful. You're powerful. This is, a, this is all about creation, and that's what I was saying earlier when we pulled that temperance card, is that you're creating something new, and you're focusing on your goals. It's a boundless expansion that you're experiencing, and I, you have the power of all of the elements that are coming together for you to create this Ace of Wands energy, inspiration, more creation, new beginnings, you expressing yourself, you feeling passionate, you connecting with someone, you tuning into your vitality, your sexuality as well, really, you know, diving into that. What does that mean to you? What does it feel like fulfilling your sexual desires? Like, I just feel an excitement that is coming up for you, Gemini, especially with this Ace of Wands. So that is what's happening in as your final outcome. Again, thank you all so much for tuning in. That is your reading, guys. Be sure to subscribe and hit the all notification bell. Make sure you like this video. Share it with your family and friends. Comment below if any part of this resonates with you. Enjoy the rest of your month. I will see you guys very soon. Many blessings and love and light, guys. Peace.